Greg looks stunning. I look like his homeless companion. back to another weekend vlog if you're new here my name is Misha Sheree and if you're not thank you so much for tuning back in um hi guys it is Thursday so you know what that means another weekend vlog I'm so happy to be kind of just back in my element I'm in New York I don't have any travel plans for like another month and a half so it's nice to be able to just like and like regroup get back to my habits my patterns my routines um so I actually just got off of a work call I'm trying to like refresh my spirit because I woke up to some bull this morning like literally some bull I'm gonna show y'all in a second basically I woke up this morning you know just like okay you know opening my eyes I went to the bathroom and I'm like oh, why is the floor wet I look down and then I look up my freaking ceiling is leaking and the reason why I'm super annoyed by this is like in our last place we had um we had like a shower and then we also had like a jet tub and the shower was linking i guess to the unit below us so like there were people in our house every single day for not even trying to be funny like two months straight like every day they were coming to do a little bit and then leaving and it's like i cannot deal with that again i cannot have people in my bathroom like i just don't like people in my space unless i invite them so to have some huge maintenance overhaul project like please count me the fuck out please okay that's one thing i'll get up and show you all that in a minute because it's upstairs okay the other thing is this weekend is going to be pretty busy with like home projects so like i realized there were some filming that i needed to do like i'm not even trying to be funny let me let me just show you all this give me one second okay you see this sephora bag right here in the Sephora bag that I got, hold on because I have the receipt. I just want to be very accurate. So I purchased this item. Is there a date on here? Hmm. January 13th, 2023. So over a month ago. Do you know what this is? Do you have any idea what this is? This is the Surreal Skin Foundation by Makeup by Mario in the shade 230 because that's my shade. I bought this foundation, I don't know, a couple days after it launched. And my whole plan was to showcase it to y'all, to apply it, to talk to you about the texture, to talk to you about the finish, to talk to you about the coverage, all the things. Um, any skin caring actives, all of that. But I don't have anywhere where I can genuinely sit down and you can visibly see me very well where I can do my makeup. And I realized this was really bothering me because, like, obviously, you guys are my supporters. I want to offer you the most value. And I have a lot of cosmetic knowledge that I feel like I just kind of sit on and I don't release it to y'all. And I feel like I was having a conversation with some friends and they were like, why don't we talk about beauty on your channel? I'm like, I don't know. I think because I work in it. Sometimes I'm like, I don't, I'm nervous, I guess, about delving so much into that and me hating it. Because at one point, like, I was working for a beauty company, I had a makeup studio, and I was starting to really dislike makeup. And it wasn't makeup that I was disliking, it was like how little I felt like I had time to do the things that I enjoyed outside of makeup. So when I moved here, I got rid of my kit. I don't, you know, offer makeup services anymore. But I do still have quite a bit of knowledge. And at the end of the day, literally my job is developing cosmetic products. So, like, I I eat, <laughs> sleep, shit, breathe makeup all day. Um, so I want to be able to offer that to y'all and show you tips and tricks and da-da-da-da-da. Um, so this weekend... I'm really, really working on setting up my little filming corner for y'all and beauty tips on the way applications on the way product reviews on the way so i really appreciate actually this channel for holding me accountable because i've been meaning to do this for a minute and i just have not gotten around to it but i feel like i don't know i just don't want y'all to get bored just watching vlogs and like i said i think that i should offer y'all value and i think that knowledge is not to be hoarded but to be shared so if i can give some knowledge away if four of y'all love it, five of y'all, 200 of y'all, like, that's great for me. I love that. So anyways, that's on the agenda, y'all. 
and then i just have some work to do you already know it's thursday so on thursdays is therapy if y'all didn't know that i have therapy every thursday i don't ever turn the camera on because why you want to see me crying down because that's really what be happening you want to see me get red for filth cool um so yeah that's pretty much all i have for today we are I, we do have dinner plans i may i may bring y'all along i may bring y'all along to the dinner plans. so i know i'm just playing obviously i'll be vlogging the dinner plans very excited it's been a minute since greg and i by ourselves have gone out to dinner or just had like any personal time with me traveling and da 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 da, da. so i'm excited for that but yeah, i'm just gonna finish doing some work oh let me show y'all this fucking ghetto ass bathroom hold on okay here's paper towel on the floor this is exactly where it was wet at and as you can see i like took all the other things out of the bathroom but literally can y'all see this right here it's leaking down to here and even in the shower area it's freaking leaking i actually got up this morning to take a shower but i'm like ew so we also got rid of my eucalyptus i think i'm gonna have to get another one because like i don't know what this mystery juice is that's leaking and i'm not gonna be you know like keeping a product in my shower that potentially could have gotten leaked on so i did contact the maintenance lady she was like oh i'm gonna let the super know yeah let him know get him here immediately and this is what they don't be telling y'all everybody wants to live in new york till it's time to live in new york then you got a slum lord or you got an apartment that's like cute but faulty and not like very well made so just the saga continues anyways i'm about to get out this bathroom um so i will i guess keep y'all well i'll pick y'all back up i do have some work to do so i'll pick y'all back up after i do some work have some coffee just kind of like finish the rest of my work day and we'll reconvene when it's probably when it's time to go out okay so i did forget to show y'all one thing um on my list of things to do today i also need to make a tiktok <laughs> Beauty Bio sent me a package, and so I need to make a TikTok about it, and I haven't done that yet. So, like, that's something that I absolutely want to make sure that I at least, like, capture the footage before we go out to dinner. So, I'll be scheduling that in. But, I, honestly, I've had this, and I haven't opened it yet. So, I just figured we could open this bad boy together. Um, and I'm actually really, really, really excited. Um... To start working with more brands it's so exciting um oh there's a cute little card hmm. hi misha we hope you love these products as much as we do from the beauty bio team that's the cutest little thing oh look y'all it's so cute okay so we have beauty bio buff and glow which is a bamboo muslin exfoliating cloth cute is what this looks like and then i also got a beauty bio cleanse and clarify duo so it is a ph balancing gel cleanser with natural ginger root and oat kernel extract come through skincare actives the ginger root is really the one that's getting me and then we have the zen bubble which is oil free calming gel cream y'all i'm so mad that i'm just not opening this like are you kidding me this is so nice and here's like the main thing that they sent me you can see it's like bubble wrapped very tightly so i'm gonna carefully open this guy up what is this oh my goodness this is crazy okay so extract infuse clarify glow facial hydro infusion pore cleansing tool and it has like the treatment chamber a waste chamber they have they came with like a glow facial concentrate which is a clarifying salicylic and plumping hyaluronic acid solution and it comes with different tips so there's like a large treatment tip small treatment stop like literally stop look at this this is huge um here's like all the things that it comes with in the back here and then it literally like has this clear skin and happy skin like these these little diagrams that kind of show you what the end result could look like um and it says help to extract impurities and excess oil helps tighten the look of pores help exfoliate dead skin Ugh, just i mean could you ask for anything more so initially i was like oh i just need to i gotta make sure that i make the content to go with this but y'all like i'm so excited to see what this does for my skin along with this and like 
y'all really showed out y'all beauty bio you really showed out thank you so much and i'm really excited i think the hardest part for me is always just concepting what to do like i always have like just so many thoughts in my head of like how what would be the best way to kind of like showcase this product that i got and so i'm gonna take some time and like write out um what it is i'm doing and we're gonna get to work we're gonna definitely just knock this tiktok out or real whatever it's gonna end up being based on what the what the brand says but i'm actually very excited to use this and i can't believe that they sent me this whole little system that's so crazy <sighs> okay now i'm gonna just like now that i've unboxed this take a moment um i'll probably just make a cup of coffee and then like finish the work that i have to do so see you guys in a second hey y'all so it's a little bit later um i feel comfortable getting ready to like I, work has not been a fire so i feel comfortable to try to like get ready do i know what i'm wearing absolutely not so the restaurant we're going to tonight is if you know my favorite genre it's italian i love italian food i just i don't know was i italian in another life she given italian no i just really like pasta i just really like carbs i have a problem um so i say all that to say the restaurant we're going to is an italian restaurant it's owned by the same group that owns carbone which is what greg just told me so a lot of times when we go to dinner in new york i'm like mm, i can kind of put on like i can make a cozy fit work like i can like i don't know this feels like i need to get dressed and i don't exactly know it's where it's kind of cold outside it's kind of rainy it's kind of gross so i really need to take some time to figure out what it is i'm gonna put on and then i guess i'll come back and show it to y'all um i'm also gonna do my makeup i've been really into the tiktoks lately like um so i actually think that i'm going to just go live while i do my makeup on tiktok um yeah so i guess that's what i'll do I need to do my makeup pretty quickly, pretty quickly, because we need to leave basically in 30 minutes, and it sometimes takes me 30 minutes just to do my face. So I need to be putting my makeup on while also thinking about what it is I'm going to put on my body, because I literally don't know. Um, so yeah, I just want to give you all that update, and then I'll definitely be taking you guys with me to dinner, so see you right before we head out so yeah um i completely under underestimated what the timing was our resi is at 5 15 so i needed to be ready at 5 45 so i basically just had to throw on whatever so we could get to our reservation say hi greg hello greg looks stunning i look like his homeless companion um and that's okay because we're just we're here to eat the foods i guess so i guess i'll check back in no i will check back in with you guys at dinner a lot of times you'll notice like when i go out to dinner i have to montage it because there's background music da, 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 da. even if i showed y'all what we were talking about you still kind of really wouldn't be able to hear us so i guess expect a montage coming five four three two Thanks. I don't know how I forgot that. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, in regards to me just not picking my camera up, honestly, like, you didn't miss anything yesterday. Shit got really real with work. Like, there's some Fridays where I just be chilling, and then there's Fridays where they're like, oh, no, girl, you working today. Yesterday was one of those Fridays, like, I feel like every time I was like, okay, I finished that task, and I put my laptop down, I was like, keep picking it back up. So I just didn't want to bore you guys, so we did not pick up my camera yesterday, and then I pretty much chilled in the house. So, today, this morning, I'm on a mission. I'm tired of my room looking like this. I'm tired of not being able to, like, do a full swivel with y'all in this room, because it is a catastrophe. 
So um, I found a lumber place that I'm going to go and get this wood chopped at. That way I can come back here and organize my shoes and now create a Because like I, one thing I did do yesterday was I ordered a desk so I can create like a sit down area for content um, in case I'm doing like, you know, makeup videos or whatever. So in order for me to actually, and I did that on purpose, I knew if I ordered it, it would put the fire under my butt to go get the wood cut that I need cut. So anyways, we're about to go do that. Um, it's early Saturday morning. Well, not too early. It's only like 9.20. But we're going to go do that. And then um, I have some errands in my mind that I need to run. But I'll come back and probably chill for a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of giving brunch. I don't know. We're just going to see what the day holds. But we are going to get out the house right now. So let's go. I feel so bad having Greg carry this big ass piece of wood down the street. We don't have cars, so this is just kind of how we have to get there. But it's like literally as big as his body. <laughs> and I get here, not only is there some weird, creepy music playing, but it's closed. All of that, like literally carrying this through the street for no fucking reason. So I guess I'm going back home. Okay, so we're back in the house. And I was sitting on the couch and I'm like, I don't know. I just kind of want to get out the house. Oh man, it's snowing all of a sudden. Like there's literally flurries. I just happened to look up and it's snowing. Um, yeah, I was just kind of like feeling really bad because I feel like when you live in New York, you're like, okay, like it's Saturday, like I should get out the house, but it's cold y'all and it's snowing. And I'm like, Greg was showing me all these really, really cute, um, these really cute um, coffee shops that are on TikTok. And I was like, oh, that's so cute, but it's here. Oh, that's so cute, but it's here. I just don't have it in me. And I'm like, how come I don't feel? I was like getting down about myself. Like, you live here. Like, you have access to some of the greatest things. Like, you should get out the house. But now that I'm seeing this snow come down, I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense that I didn't feel like going anywhere because, you know, it's snowing. I'm just going to walk. We're going to go to our coffee shop that we always go to. It's called Cup of Brooklyn. You, if you've watched any of my vlogs, you've probably seen me there. But we're just going to go there and I'm going to get my coffee, um, like, not to go. Like, I'm going to drink it there and we'll just have, like, we used to do this thing back home. We would do, like, little coffee dates and we would go explore new coffee shops. And so, like, I was excited to do that here. Um, but I'm just going to honor how I'm feeling right now and just not even try to push it. So, let me see if I can show you all these flurries. Hold on one second. Turn the camera around so you can see. You might not be able to see because my, um my patio door needs to be clean on the outside though not from the inside so um you may or may not be able to see through but let me see if i press it to it can y'all see those flurries can you see that it's snowing this is like my little backyard area right here you might can see the flurries coming down but yeah girl it's snowing so i'm just gonna go to like our little it's like two blocks away like a super close um coffee shop and just get my normal also like how do we feel about this little hat situation it's not typically my vibe but I need a hat and I was like oh I want like a cute hat so hmm I don't know I think I like it what do we think should I get some more should I get some other colors I don't know if you saw um Lauren London on you is it you and you people just kidding you is that one show like a series so in the movie you people she had like a multicolored hat like this and I was like oh this is so cute so, um, I don't know. This might be my little, new little flavor because I kind of like it. All right. See you at the coffee shop. Yeah. She's delicious. I should have gotten one. This is nasty. No. It's not nasty, but it doesn't taste as good as that. 
Don't make you do that, but you're so sweet for us. I'm promising you. Okay, so we've just kind of been chilling at the house since we left the coffee shop. Um, it is it's like two o'clock right now. Um, I was actually whew, excuse me. Okay, I came home and then I finished editing the vlog that's going up on Sunday. I just had like a little a couple of little things I need to do with it, so I finished that. And I was just sit chilling on the couch. Greg is watching. What are you watching? It's a uh, What's the Bronson's. name of the show? Oh, Action Bronson's YouTube. cooking show? Yes. Well, he goes to restaurants and like talks about the restaurant, tries dishes, but it's called Fuck That's Delicious. Okay. We also have the book. It's back here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So this guy right here, he's watching his show. He, he's a I don't know if you've ever seen this book before. He's a rapper, but he also is like a foodie. Yeah. This is him. So, I don't know if I've ever actually even cooked anything out of here, ever. But, um, I'm going to start looking, because it looks like there's some yummy stuff in here, actually. Um, ooh. Look at this. This looks so good. Anyways, Greg is watching that. We were just sitting there, and he was like, mm, I kind of feel like I want some wine. I'm like, honestly, me too. So, um, I just got this little bodega glass down. You guys remember these. I got them from CB2, like, um, I don't know, a couple months ago. But I vlogged it. But, um, Greg has been really into, like, natural wines. So, he bought this. Um, it says Lorange. And it's, on the back it says Mad Med Lorange Dry Skin Contact Amber Wine. So, I'm just gonna... He's in the mood for some wine, so I'm just going to pour him some of that. I'll probably have, I have some Riesling in there. I just have a glass of that. And I just love how chill today is. Like, chilling, having some wine. I don't know if we're going to be chilling all day, but um, we're chilling for now. Hold on, let me go give this to him. I kind of feel like I want some pizza. So we ordered this, like... Pizza. Normally, I eat the same pizza all the time. I like this place called Brooklyn. That's by our house. We ordered pizza from. We ordered a grandma pizza from this place called Williamsburg Pizza, right? Yeah. Y'all, yeah, it was so good. It was so good. Um. So I look how we've been eating this pizza for days. Look how big this box is. Huge. Um. I'm just gonna throw a slice in the air fryer. I realize that the air fryer is the bomb for reheating your pizza. All right, here's the dilemma, Greg. There's only three slices left, but there only one of them has a crust. Can I have the one that has the crust? Greg, no. can I have the slice that has the crust? Yep. Yay! Okay. Here, I'll show it to you. So this is the pizza. Literally, like I said, we've been eating this for days. But uh, I'm a crust girl, so I want this slice, but then we have these two slices left. So I'm going to put two of them in there. Because um, I just called her. I'm going to put these guys in the air fryer, and they're going to be so good. Okay, so we decided that we're going to leave. I switched my hat. Actually, I switched my whole outfit, but it's actually kind of sad because I still have on sweats. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to carry this bag. You guys have seen this before. And I don't know, I'm just a cozy girl right now. So I just have been living in the sweats. But I'm packing my bag right now. Um, so I'm just gonna pack my glass case. Um, I'm carrying also this tote because it just makes it easier for me to carry my camera in. Put my keys and my AirPod in there. Um, I like to put be losing stuff so i like to put my wallet in little compartments so update on this guy right here i love this but it's very very cute and it does moisturize my lips but i feel like i have very sensitive lips so i have to put this on underneath first this is like blistex little chapstick um so i have to put this on first and then i go in with this now the other update is well, I have to show it to y'all. Let me go downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs. Pause on that thought because I have to go downstairs to grab something for you. I'm bringing this in case she decides to get the f it's off. Um, do I have anything in here? That I, need to go in here? I have. I have, like I'm kind of a crybaby, so I've been keeping tissue in my bag. 
You'll be like, why do you have tissue? Because I'm a crybaby, duh. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Oh. Um, okay, I'm going to show y'all something. And you guys help me decide. Give me one second. So when I came home from LA, I walked downstairs and there was two little gift bags. One of them had a bottle of wine in them and it, the other one had this in there. So I now have two shades. I'm like, wow, you love me so much. And then my mom was here and I forget what she wanted to get from Sephora, but we went to Sephora and I was showing her, I showed her, she actually ended up getting this, this exact shade of Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. But then I also was like, girl, the girls are wearing this. Like, this is what you need. And then she bought us matching ones. So I have it in the shade pink. I haven't opened it yet. But I'm going to take my Summer Fridays with me. Either I'm going to, no. I have my chapstick, which is like my base. But either I'm going to bring this or this. What do we think? Which one? Which one do you think? Which one should I wear? Where's the one I That's the only reason why you're saying it though. You're not actually thinking about me and my experience Dior? today. Where's the Dior one? Do you see what I have to deal with? Like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't worn this yet, so I might just see what it's hitting for. Oh my gosh, look how cute! Look how cute, look how cute. So cute. It's so nice to be in the family. It's so nice to be an it girl. Okay, it doesn't smell good. It smells like whatever the formula is. Let me see. Wow. Top tier. Even if it just looks like skating rink lip gloss, it's really the way it makes you feel. Because this is basically strawberry rollerball lip gloss y'all do know this right i'm just saying from a formula perspective i can't speak to that but how it looks it's giving the same vibe so essentially this is a lesson on how black women dictate the culture because y'all literally just created a super glossy gloss and slapped the name dior on it does it have any skincare actives no cherry oil infused color awakening nourishing glossy lip oil this is this is let me find out i'm a trendsetter because i've been wearing this shit since i was six okay this is basically skating rink lip lip gloss okay so since i busted out the dior i'll bust this out tomorrow then wow who is she with different lip things to switch out don't play with her do not play with her uh, did i forget to put on deodorant no i put on deodorant it just feels weird okay we're gonna make our way Cause I'm hungry and I don't want to cry on camera. Good morning. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, okay. So on the agenda for today, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I'm getting both of the TVs mounted today. So if I didn't talk to you guys, so like my living room is not finished, but basically like there's <laughs> there's still a box lingering from when I moved here a year ago, but it's my vinyl record player, but it needs to sit like basically where the TV sits. So I'm getting the TV mounted today. Also, I'm getting the one in my room mounted just so I can get some more natural lighting in. Also, like, I don't know, like the way that the... The TV sits on our dresser, and the dresser is, like, by my side where I sleep at. And so it's kind of really uncomfortable to try to watch it. Also, like, we tend to fall asleep with the um, TV on. I'm a light sleeper, and I also suffer from insomnia. So sometimes it's really hard to, like, get into a good night's rest. Um, so we are having... It, what time is it right now? It's not even... It's, like, just past 9 o'clock, and the guy will be here at 1030. So I do need to move my... Um, I need to move my bed because, like... There's not a lot of space between where he needs to hang the TV at and my bed. And, like, if he if he grazes my bed with his clothing, gross. Um, I'm very particular. I'm very much that person that's, like, 
don't sit on the bed with your outside clothes. So like having a stranger in my home and having him like potentially rub up against my sheets. Absolutely not. So I need to move the bed and um yeah, I think that's pretty much it in preparation. We ordered mounts yesterday. They literally came yesterday, which was wild. Um, and then he'll be here at 1030 and he said, I don't think it should take him that long to put both TVs up, but I'm so excited for my TVs to be mounted. I didn't, however, get those little things that hide the cord. I was like, whatever, I'll just get those afterwards. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to go to like a record shop since I'm going to be able to put my, um, since I'm going to be able to put my records out so, or my record player out. So anyways, that's what I have going on for today. Um, honestly, I'm like in the mood to cook cooking is very therapeutic for me so I'm gonna see like I don't know what recipe I can pull but yeah nothing crazy going on just a regular Sunday so just wanted to fill you guys in on that 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 was the plan for today and I think the other thing that I absolutely need to do is film this content for <laughs> the um, beauty bio thing so all right guys I will chat with you soon okay so this is the TV behind me it's finally mounted um, I don't know if you can hear, but he's doing it in our bedroom right now, so I'm so excited to like clean and decorate as soon as he finishes, so I will try to continuously without being annoying with my camera, keep you guys looking to the process. Okay, so now that the TVs are mounted, there's one box that I have that's literally, um, here I'll show it to you. This right here was a gift that I got, um, during... Gregory and I is like, it was on our wedding registry. Um, it's like a vintage, it says vintage turntable, but it's really just like a um, vinyl record player. So I've never been able, this is literally the last box that we've not unpacked since um, since we moved here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out. And I was like, dang, we don't even have any vinyl, I forgot. So I forgot that when we went to Snow Allegra's concert, we like grabbed this and we said like, oh, when we go to concerts, we'll get the vinyl as like the souvenir or whatever. So I have those two and so I'm just going to put them out. The only, only thing, and I thought about this and I should have just did it, but I didn't get the things to like cover the cords up. You can see like the cord, which it's not terrible, but it's also just like a little bit of an eyesore. So that's like probably the last, we'll need two of those like for each room. And then I need to get some decor to put on this, on my dresser in my room and also here. Cause it's just mad bare. Like here, I'll show you what it looks like. Look how bare that is. And there's a huge gap in case you're wondering why I haven't put it so high is because I do plan on getting a little fireplace here. But you can kind of tell like it's bare and I'll show you the one in our room too. So you can see here, I haven't put up our Apple, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't put our Apple TV up yet, but you can kind of see here how like, yeah, it needs a thing because it's a little bit of an eyesore, but it's really nice though. I haven't seen this room be this open since um, we moved in here, so it's super nice. <laughs> 